Hey guys, Garrett here, and today is part five of my DIY geothermal series. If you missed parts one through four, they are down in the description. There are links there. Great information. Today is all about the slinky loop. I want to show you exactly how to build one, the jig to build it. And then if we have 10 feet worth of slinky loop, how many feet of pipe are actually in that? I'm gonna answer all of that today. You're going to want to start with some sort of a, a flat surface. So I've got uh, some leftover sheetrock, but it could be a four by eight sheet of OSB or plywood or something like that. The main thing is that you need two rails. You need a rail here and you need a rail here. And you gotta have some way to affix those in place. So the sheetrock, it's just screwed into those boards which creates the rails that I need to build my slinky loop. I'm gonna drag all of the pipe right through that. Plus, you're going to want a whole bunch of zip ties. Quick note on your rail spacing. I've got it set up for what would be a three foot wide trench, 36 inches, and I actually have these rails set at 33 inches. As you pull this through, those, uh, those coils can actually expand just a little bit after you're done. So you wanna start a little tighter than your trench so that you can just drop those coils in. You don't have any binding or anything like that. You definitely don't wanna get inside of your trench. So make these coils a little smaller than your trench. When you're doing your coils, you're gonna have either PEX A or HDPE. What I have here is PEX. And so that's what I'm demonstrating with. Most likely it's going to be three quarter inch. I have half inch here because that's all I have on hand to shoot this video, but it's all representative. It's gonna be the same. The three quarter inch is going to be a little stiffer than what this half inch is, but it's gonna come in a giant roll because it's gonna be probably five to 600 feet long. So uh, of course it's gonna have two ends. One end is gonna be at the center of the coil and one is gonna be at the outside of the coil. What you wanna do is you wanna pull from the center of the coil into your jig that you've made up. The nice thing of it being in this coil is, hey, you're making a slinky loop system here and it's already coiled for you. So it goes right through that, uh, that jig very, very easily. The nice thing again of it being a coil and you grab from that center is it's literally gonna come out like a slinky. So it's just, you're gonna pull and it's just gonna be like a vertical slinky, a slinky that is laid on, on its side, basically. So it's real easy to do this. That slinky loop is going to be standing up like this. The best thing to do is to see if you can lay it back like that, basically lay it on itself. So you're gonna have layer, 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 layer. And then you're just gonna pull it right through your jig, just like this. And as you pull it through, you can keep it basically self-sizes itself. So you just pull it through, grab your zip ties, and I would do at every point where it's going to be overlapping itself, and then also zip tie every point where the two touch, just like this. After your loops are done, make sure that you have enough pipe handy so that you can run that return line. You're going to run that return line all the way down along one side. And then of course you can zip tie that return line to the other side of those loops. Uh, if you want, you can fill your trench with a foot of, of soil 
and then run your return line. But realistically, you're not going to lose much, if any, efficiency by doing it this way. This is what's typically done by the professionals. And it, it's going to give you excellent results. All right, well, this is what the finished product is going to look like. So, you know, it's, it's a lot of pipe and a fairly small amount of space. And that's why the Slinky Loop is so nice is, again, much shorter trench and you fill a lot of pipe in it at that point. So let's just see from, this would be basically six loops. So one, two, three, four, five, six zip ties deep. Let's measure that and see exactly how long that is. Can you take that? Put it right at the blue tape. Okay. So I got 10 feet, six inches, and that is again, six, of these top joints together. Next, I'm gonna cut all of these zip ties. We're gonna lay it out and we're gonna see exactly how many feet of pipe is in that 10 and a half feet worth of loop. Once we stretch the entire line out, you can see from my son to me, it is actually 54 feet. So again, 10 and a half feet worth of coiled line is 54 feet worth of straight line. So again, you can realize just how uh, much less real estate you need to, to run it like this. The slinky loop way is definitely the way to go. Hey guys, make sure to hit that like button down below as well as subscribe. I'll see you next time. No wait, I'm gonna make that one have circles and then go this odd way and then that way, that way and that way. Back to scatters.